Okay, so the Carolina Hurricanes have won the Stanley Cup. Uh, yeah, it is what it is here. Entering the offseason, we look pretty good. And yeah, draft lottery, 15th pick. Not bad, but I would have loved if we if he went up. Let's hope Ovechkin doesn't... Patrick Kane retired. Oh, my God. That's tough. Nicholas Backstrom. Phil Kessel. Jonathan Taze. Oh, did Ovechkin retire here? Did Ovechkin retire? Kevin Shattenkirk. Okay, so, you know, he was... His contract was up anyway. So, we weren't going to keep him. I have the scouts here. Uh, let us hope we have nobody on our team. San... San... Oh, okay. We have a coach who retired. We have one coach. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna continue simming here. It's pretty much it. And yeah. Uh, we have Ovechkin again. Here we go. Let's just, uh, see what's up here. 15th pick. Let's go. And there's this guy who's unknown. I think I should have just maybe, yeah, I think I should have, uh, you know what, I'm just going to take him, let's see what he ends up, medium top six, not bad, honestly, Very, really not bad, uh, here we go, uh, we have this guy, Lightinen, left D, let's see what he's all about, low top six, Oh, not good. I mean, we have a lot of prospects already. So that is, uh, honestly, I, I really don't mind. I have that two-way forward the scouts want want me to take. Me and bottom six. We don't have a lot of... It doesn't look like we had a lot of picks either. Medium elite. Let's just see... Medium 70. So yeah, same entire draft. We didn't have a lot of picks, which is unfortunate. We had four. I don't know where they all went, but you know, re-signing phase. We have the the goalie coach who needs to be re-signed. Let's hope he doesn't. Okay, yeah, you're gonna be re-signed as a goalie coach, not as anything else. Okay, so here we have with contracts here. Uh, we have 21 mil of cap space, which is not bad. Ryan Donato, it's gonna, oh, Cole Cylinder's contract is gonna need to uh, hold up. We're gonna have to, this guy I'm gonna let go. Really not interested. Ozzy Wisblatt, why not? Uh, I'm going to meet him top nine. Yeah, I'm going to bring you back. I'm gonna bring you in, sign you to an entry level, why not? Uh, there's all these guys I'm gonna not keep Pretty much here we so Yeah, Nick Letty I'm gonna let you go Jacob Kalpaka I'm gonna have to find better So here we go Leave you Ryan Donato I don't know 46 points plus 5. I think I can bring him back for a bit. Uh, if anything, I'm bringing him back for like 2 years. 4 mil. It's going to be it. And Max Jones. Very cheap deal. So I'm going to bring you in. Uh, he doesn't... Okay. F find, another, find another goalie coach then. That's pretty much it. Buddy. And we have all these scouts accepted. That is good news. He going to reject. Donato wants more money. Max Jones wants more money. We're gonna let him go then. Uh, it's it's not. I I I'm not gonna give you more money. It's pretty much that. You know, it's it was pretty much okay. Jordan Binnington, he's a big contract here. Three years. 6.4 mil. I wouldn't be mad if we take that. There's the goalie we need to sign into 
Ooh, he's ask he's asking for for for, for an amount there. Oh, I, I don't know. I don't know, bro. They've never played in the NHL, yet they're just asking for that much money. Okay. Uh, reject. I don't think the team he wants to win. Uh, I, I mean, bro, we need to bring you back. We need to bring you back. So what I'm gonna do? Two years. I'm gonna bump up the salary because. Uh, uh I, I'm not really sure about that, but uh, it's gonna have to be like that. It's gonna, it's gonna have to be like that. Seven point two mil for two years. Hopefully, you accept that, and he accepted. Because we have that medium elite Sem Semyonov. He's not quite ready yet. Medium elite, by the way. He's, he's not quite ready yet, so... I, I can't really let him go. Jordan Bennington is the best goal goaltender option we have right now. Ozzy Weisblatt accepted. Oh, and I forgot about uh, Cole Sillinger's contract there. Uh, so, by the way, goalie coach... Goalie coach, hold, hold up. He's the best available goalie coach here. But yeah, I'm gonna bring him back. Why not? Bring him back. It's it wouldn't hurt anybody. He he didn't forget. He probably forgot about it. <laughs> I'm, you know. Hold up. Is there anybody who's good in goalies, bro? Nobody. Yo, there isn't much? For God's sake. We can give me something. Okay, just, uh, just give me... Yeah, uh, give me that. Give me that shit. Goalie coach, and here we go. And yeah. Yeah, contracts, whatever. Uh, first off, what we're going to start by doing, we're going to start by actually signing. Ryan Merkley doesn't want to come back. Uh, Cole Sillinger needs a contract, so we're going give to give it to him. We have a lot of people to re-sign. We have a lot of people. Three years, 3.5. Oh, my God. Yo, he's cheap. I'm gonna give him 4.4. Gonna be a bit generous with him, uh, but yeah, we're gonna need to re-sign some guys here. Ryan Merkley wants. Oh, we have a lot of money here, but he's gonna be the next big paid guy right there. Ov, it's whatever. Stamkos, uh, you know, I'm gonna come back with you. Hurdle, Hurdle doesn't want to come back for some reason. Fiala. Fiala wants 5.7. I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna give you that that amount of money right there. Uh, Isaac Lundstrom. I'm gonna. Uh, yeah, two years for 2.1. That would be good. Honestly, if you want to take that. Uh, Hurdle. I'm gonna do something with you. One more year for six years. Uh, for for six mil. Why not? Uh, Ov doesn't. Has maybe he's retiring? Maybe Drake Batterson. I'm gonna come back with you. This guy looks good, so I'm gonna. He wants quite some money. Shit, Fawcett. Yo, this guy. Okay. Why not you? 81 overall. Zach Cassian. Uh, is there anybody? Yeah, I'm going to have to re-sign you. Two more years. Why not? Uh, well, Ozzy Wisblad, of course. He, he's, he's under qualifying offers. It's pretty much what we need. Okay. Uh, we, we don't have the money to make some big signing. So... 
All I'm gonna need to focus is just to replace. Hold up. Is there any defenseman that would be great here? Uh, top four. Ryan Murray. I'm gonna take Ryan Murray for two years. Two years, 5.2. Wouldn't be bad. Wouldn't hurt anybody. Uh, Cam Fowler. Uh, bro, they're they're asking. Some of them are asking for a lot here. David Sav David Savar. Uh, Jake Gardner, 70. Uh, Dougie Hamilton. I'm gonna give a contract to Brendan Dillon right there. Uh, backup goalie yeah, I don't need. Forward. No. All I need is like a third line. Bottom six. I think we have the players to replace, honestly. Kasperi Kapanen. I would love Kasperi Kapanen, honestly. Wait a sec. Show me none. Okay. Don't fit in none. Uh, Wenberg. Top six forward lines. Here we go. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna give you one year. I'm gonna give you one year here. It's pretty much gonna be that. And I, and I think that's it. Our our team looks very good. We, we have some guys. We have some guys here. I never said I want to trade these guys. Losing a few guys, it's it, it, it was okay, I guess. Drake Batterson, I, I have no clue who the hell these guys. I should have maybe checked. He, he may be a prospect. He, he may be a young prospect there. Lundstrom, Ryan Murray, Brendan Dillon. Uh, okay, he's going to need to get signed. And, yeah, he re-signed, okay. Uh... But what we need here, we need Fawcett to, to accept. Okay, he doesn't want a two-way deal. He wants a one-way deal. He wants a one-way deal. Imagine if we sign him to that deal. Shit. Imagine if we, re or imagine if we sign him to that deal. <laughs> Fiala accepted, Stamkos, Merkley Mer accepted, okay. Okay, let's go. Yo, he's one year, uh, one mil for eight years. Imagine if he's a stud. Oh, for God's sake. Okay, so here the here's the lineup for for what year number eight. We started 2020-2021. We're 2026-2027. So it's like year six or something. Yeah, I think it's like year. I thought. Wait a sec. Wait a sec. Wait a sec. We went three years into. Yeah, we're year number seven. We're year number seven. So here we go. Fawcett, the rookie. Let's go. Hold up. He's a seventh round gem. Sheesh. Oh my God! Look. He's a seventh round gem. Oh my lord. I think Timo Meyer deserves to be captain, honestly. He deserves to. And it's pretty much going to be it. And, uh, yeah. Honestly. Uh, let's just see how it how it looks at open, in opening night. Because that's where I'm more interested in. If you know what I mean. Uh, okay, let's go. Let's go. Uh, yeah, OV fully healed. He, he, it was like a, a minor injury. Here we go. Oh, come on. Okay. Lines, let's see how it, how it looks. Okay, same overalls. Nobody gained, lost anything. But yeah. Uh, by the way, our defenseman... Yeah, I forgot to show our defenseman lines, first off. We have a bunch of young guys. This defense is young. 20, 20 years old, 24, 
20. He's only 26, by the way. 28, 33, but he's the only veteran there. Uh, special teams, we have plus threes across the board. Able to get the young guys some ice time, too. Bennington is only 89 with Nedeskovic being his backup. So, we're going to start off the sim. This, this team looks really good. Th this team looks dangerous. I, I think that, that has to be the fastest rebuild. It has to be a, a like an absolute rebuild there. Drake Batterson, he's a fourth liner, just replaced player. Uh, yeah, he's, a, he's an AHL player. Okay, so here we are here in... Um, you know so where we are here we're in the trade deadline we have a good record it took time for stuff to get going but they finally got going which is good news what I'm really gonna try to do is really clear out some space and get some picks back because we're really you know we have a lot of players on the roster we're really deep the problem is, we're just, you know, I feel like, especially in the, I was about to say what, especially in the forwards, there's just like a lot of guys, a lot of guys. Antoine Mohan, he he's not going to play for sure. We have guys like that. Uh, Kevin Fiala looks like he's gonna be, he's gonna be, I mean, he has an extension. Yeah, he has an extension. Three more years. But, you know, he might get traded in that contract, too. If you look at it, we have a lot of players. A lot of players. A lot of prospects, also. Lindsay? Yo, 82-22. Okay. Well, we can bring him in. We can bring him in for, for for later on here. We're gonna try to get some picks here. Second and a third. Second and a third. Second and a third. Um, I'm gonna train to Colorado. It it won't hurt. It won't hurt at all because it's really it it, it does make sense honestly. Uh, Ferraro Mario Ferraro has some trade value. So let's just use that here. Second and third, second and third. Uh, I'm not looking to get any players back. Two seconds. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna take Detroit's offer. Here we go. Shipped off to wherever you need to go. Uh, there's that Hayes guy who's low elite also. Brandon Dillon. Uh, let's just use some value. Just get some picks back also. Uh, four and a seven. What the hell is happening? Oh, we got a trade offer. Morgan Frost and... No, I, I'm not... No, I, I'm not looking for that. Uh, we might look to upgrade also. We might look to upgrade somewhere. Uh, you know, I think we're okay as a team. Honestly, I think we're okay as a team. If if anything, I think we maybe trade Fiala for someone good. Fiala, Stamkos for someone good. Uh, Batterson, that is, we're okay there. Uh, I, I was about to trade who? Yeah, Dylan. I was about to trade Dylan. Yeah, let's see how it goes here. Four to seven. Fourth and the fifth. Trade him to Nashville. Lindsay is gonna be brought up. It's pretty much it, it was pretty much the point of it too. Uh, I'm gonna try another a trade here. Okay, so I'm trying to get these two young guys. Just a clear. Oh, okay. So we're gonna have to give up some picks here. I mean, we have a lot of picks for this year. I'm gonna give up Colorado second. And yeah, the choice second for next year. I think this should work. Yes, it will. Okay, so we got two young guys for Stamkos and Fiala. It's two, you know, Stamkos is regressing. We got to capitalize on his trade value also right now. 
So that is a good, a good thing to get rid of him right now. Uh, and I think that's pretty much it. I think that's pretty much it. I'm going to show you guys the the stats at mid, you know, at the trade deadline. Uh, Ryan Merkley is having a hell of a year, by the way. Here's our season. Ovechkin having a b little bit of a down year in terms of goals. Showing regression here in terms of goals. He 85 overall, but we're, we're going to need him for that playoff run. We're going to need him for that playoff run. Drake Batterson. Wenberg. Oh, my God. Yeah, McLeod. Sillinger is not... I mean, he's going to... I mean, we're going to keep him for sure. Jordan Jack he, is the guy we just acquired here. He, he was on a bad team anyway, so that is... Uh, that explains why. Zankanaro is going to need to be brought up here. But we're going to need to just make some trades for some good defensive guys. Drake Batterson, there's been a lot of calls on him. So we're going to just capitalize on that too. Him and Wenberg. All I'm going to say here, 1v1 trades pretty much. That's all I'm going to ask for. 1v1 trades for guys who... I mean, not Brian Little, of course. Uh, Axel Anderson. Okay, Evgeny Malkin is a 76 overall. Old Mal Malkin there. Uh, on Chicago. Dylan Gambrell. Is he having a good season? He's not. I, I don't think he's what I'm looking for. The Stenlund. Forward line three. Let me just look at his stats. Plus five. Uh, he gives. Nah. He. I mean, if he was good defensively, I'm. 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 Uh, all I'm looking for is that. Pretty much looking for that here. Uh. No thanks to Antoine Morin here. Jason Dickinson. Jason Dickinson has been good for us, so... Why not? Colorado will be over the league salary cap. I think I'm going to have to retain salary right there. Uh, even more. I'm going to have to retain more salary. I think that would be okay. Yeah, trade accepted. Jason Dickinson has been good for us. We're, you know, I'm, I'm just trying to get better defensive guys here. We have another trade offer. Uh, no, Ryan Murray has been good for us. So we're going to leave the trade deadline, and I'm going to show you guys the team. Okay, so we're, we're making the playoffs, but I have a problem. Uh, it's It's been a bit worrisome. The, the end of the season. We went on a bit of a losing streak here. And it's not what I'm liking. It's not what I like there. We went on a bit of a losing streak. It's been... Uh, yeah, I've, I've been questioning here. I've been questioning. If you know what I mean. I don't know why... Uh, you know, we just, we just proceed to lose. Oveskin's regressing. So it looks like he's retiring at the end of the season. If we can give him another Stanley Cup, that would be great, honestly. But we're going to jump in at the last game here. The Edmonton Oilers, they probably won. Yeah, they won the President's Trophy. We're going to jump in here. Gameplay. Why not here? 3-1 lead. Fawcett is going to score. You know? Just check some uh, some of it here. Uh, Kuznetsov, where the hell this guy is? Oh, power play goal by Lundestrom. We're gonna jump in now. Oh, hold up! I just one sec. Yeah, coach mode. That's how it's meant. Okay. So here it is. Let's just go check some gameplay here. We have our, I think, our third line here. But it's, by the way, Jason Dickinson is back on the team. 
Oh my god, what a play. And uh, we get a chance real early here. Oh, look. Lundestrom. Okay. Uh, he could have shot there. McDavid. Look at him. Shot, save again. Yo. Okay. Shot, save again. I think that's Martin Jones. Who's starting for them. Still. <laughs> Ooh, look at Fawcett right there. Number nine. Yeah, two snipers on both sides. Oh, we almost saw the Ovechkin. The classic Ovechkin one-timer there. Oh, let's go. 29. There's a, a lot of backskating there. Come on. Oh, Ovechkin. Ovechkin. Oh, Sillinger almost scores. Oh, no. Okay. Here we go. Oh, save. Okay. That was Sean Couturier. Sheesh. Oh, and I don't think that's a Kuznetsov uh, of the Caps here. I think it's a created guy, Kuznetsov. Oh, Oveshkin. Come on. Oh, my God. What are you doing? He could have given Oveshkin a goal there. It's probably his last regular season game of his career. Kyle Connor. Oh, yeah, of course. And you're puck ragging. EA has programmed the AI to puck rag now. Okay. She just missed the net. Empty net glitch, of course. But yeah, we're going to end the season. We beat the President's Trophy Oilers there. We're going to check stats. Okay, yeah, Ryan Merkley, who ends the season with 92 points. Defense going to be scoring a lot of points at that point. Uh, Oveshkin. I mean, what a career. What a career. Honestly, he has a thousand goals. I mean, we should have put on put on gameplay for for the thousandth goal, right there. It, it would have been cool to see how it would look, but uh, man, what a career! Washington, he's, most of his career with Washington, bro. He, he he was, you know, one of the best players in his generation. Honestly. Playoff stats. 78 goals in 154 games. It's been that. What a man. What a man. Honestly. He's 81 overall now. Kyle Connor, okay. Oh, okay, on the fourth line. Cole Sillinger, he, he's still sco and not scoring goals. Merkley plus 10. Ryan Murray, a bit disappointing with his plus minus, but it's not. Eh, whatever. Lindsay, he's barely played. But Bergevin, Quinn Law. Bennington, how he's been, 902. It's not terrible. Not that good either. Uh, let's check the entire league here. Connor McDavid is going to win the heart right there. Patrick Laine, Jack Eichel, Leon Dreisel. Kind of the guys you'd expect to be there. Uh, plus minus Connor McDavid. Who wins a Rocket Richard? Trevor Zegers. Of course. Simming very well here. So it's pretty much going to be it. We're going to end the video here. Subscribe if you're new, click the like button, comment down below what you think. And yeah, guys, I'm going to see you guys in the next one. We're going to be playing the Calgary Flames. And yeah, as the third seed in the division, they're, they were the second seed. And yeah, let's see if we can make a cup run with Alex Ovechkin.